Hello, my name is Effie and I am one of the guides of Corfu Perspectives Guided Tours. We want to share with you some stories about places and people you may know about, but there are still a lot of secrets to be discovered. Today we are talking about Lord Kilford. In the beautiful garden of Boschetto, across the old fortress, we find a smiling statue of a sitting man. He wears a tunic and holds a book. Two things he loved during his lifetime were Greece and literature. Let's see who this Englishman was. Frederick North, 5th Earl of Guildford, sometimes known as Lord Guildford, was a British politician, colonial administrator and Philhellen. He was the youngest son of Prime Minister Frederick North, 2nd Earl of Guildford, and was born in 1766 in England. He studied law at Eton College and Christ Church College at the University of Oxford. He had a strong interest in Greek and Italian culture. Doctors suggested that he spend more time in a warmer, southern environment due to a health concern, thus he often travelled to the Mediterranean. He travelled to many countries and regions of the Mediterranean, including the Adriatic's eastern shores and the Ionian Islands that Corfu belongs to. He turned to Orthodox Christianity in 1791 and became devout follower. Guilford was baptized in Corfu with the name Dimitrios in 1792, when he was just 25 years old. Since then, he has been considering establishing a Greek language university on the Ionian Islands. Guilford travelled to Vienna in 1815, where he met with the Corfuid Count Johannes Capodistrias, a diplomat who was working for the Russian Emperor at that time and later became the first governor of independent Greece. Guilford and Capodistrias addressed the prospect of founding a higher education institution on the Ionian Islands. In 1819 he was appointed Chancellor of Corfu which was administered by the British as part of the Ionian Islands. In 1824, at his own expense, he founded the Ionian Academy in Corfu town that was the first Greek university in modern times. Theology, law, medicine and philosophy were the four schools that were taught in modern Greek. He sent numerous Greek students to study at universities abroad at his own cost and he also taught at the academy. The academy's first year was held at Lord Guilford's private apartment with seven professorships and 150 students enrolled. The following year, a building was provided inside the old fortress, and since 1841 it was housed in the former Venetian barracks building. Lord Guilford had underwritten the Academy's expenditures, which he continued to pay until his death. After the death of Frederick North of Guilford in 1827, its financial resources were significantly limited and slowly began to decline. The Academy operated until 1864, when it was permanently closed to assist the newly founded University of Athens that also hired some professors of the Ionian Academy. Today's Ionian University in Corfu opened its doors to students in 1985. It consists of six departments – History, Foreign Languages and Translation, Music Studies, Library, Archival and Museum Studies, Audiovisual Arts and Informatics. To honor Guilford, the Corfu set up a statue of him in Corfu town made by the sculpture Apergis in 1883 and named a street close to the university after him. If you like the story and want to know more, 
check out our blog at corfuguidedus.com. Thanks for watching.